again um so now i will uh, pass it on to you uh, mr paul to explain now uh what are the differences between kwanza and christmas because from what i see the only difference is that there's no christ in kwanza and kwanza as you say is not religious and also it takes yeah. more than one day yeah. but what is the difference really all i see it's um, maybe black people somewhere somehow people. decided to say no this christmas is too white we're changing it now we're calling it kwanza isn't it yeah, that that's why you, that's why you are even saying there's no christmas in it you 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 reckon there should be christmas in everything uh and uh, uh, i'm taking you all on this this has got nothing to do with christmas because christmas in the first place had nothing to do with us as people Jesus. of this yeah. Um, original human mm, land of uh, land, human. land of hum, hum, or, origin of humans mm. and uh, so uh, uh, it's, it's unfair always to compare Kwanzaa with Christmas it is that, listen listen it is happening during the festive season conveniently so it was contrived to bring people together at this time and no, not on one day did they say it will compete with religions. So it's not competing. It's not like about crazy black people somewhere thinking that we need a black Christmas. It's not a replacement of black Christmas. It is there for itself. It stands for umoja, unity. It stands for principles like umoja, unity. It stands like for principles like kumba, creativity. Principles like Kuji Changula, create, uh, collective work, you know, and other issues like in, in Kenya where they say Harambe, when, in, in, when, 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 you know, Harambe is where somebody just shouts Harambe uh, uh, and people come together to come and work. In, in, in Africa, we call it Zima. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you ask uh, people, I'm not even saying the word neighbor, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. People f in your village, your fellow men, Bahisa and Ibalo, neighbor is it's a foreign concept altogether. Mm. And then they come together, they do a task that you had to do, whether it be plowing or anything, they do it together with you. And next time we move to the other and so on. So it is already a lifestyle. There are a lot of people on this motherland on this land of human origin, who think there's nothing that can be there without religion, mm. without the so-called faith. Our people did not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree that much, but only if you had uh, maybe shown us that Kwanzaa came before Christmas, but as you said, that Africans in the diaspora came with this Kwanzaa. So to me, it pretty much says it is after Christmas has been there for many years. No, no, no. They didn't come with 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 Kwanzaa. They came. Mm. They came to rejuvenate the spirit of Ujama through Kwanzaa, and so on. It is all hinged on the spirit of Ujama. Mm. It all came before anything else, before your Eid, whatever you have called. All these things has been there, but. The fact that we as young Africans do not know about it, it's not surprising. Mm -hmm. Because I went to my first Kwan Kwanzaa event some 20 years ago uh, at, at, at Bryanstein in Johannesburg on, a, on, a, on an afternoon like this. Mm -hmm. where, I got, where When I got there, where there were a lot of African Americans in, together with my fellow South Africans. Uh, we were having, we were, we were enjoying Kwanzaa. And when I said something, somebody said I must talk, you know, just give a small little talk for the sake of the African Americans because they always want to learn something about you, if you may share. So I shared, I said, you know, in Africa we are such a powerful people that when you have seeds, ointment all you need is your uncle to spit on that thing and it gets cured mm -hmm. one of the most famous african laughed he read us you know 
hilariously about it. The Americans converged on me to ask me more. Mm. When the South African was laughing, one of the most celebrated South Africans, mm. we had the people like Letambuli, Kayafa, Semenya, uh, just to name a few. But the one that I won't name laughed hilariously like I was a madman mm. trying to say something. Sometimes when you teach about an African thing, it, it, people treat it as something below their dignity. Mm. And even now, today, if you perhaps you teach about uh, Kwanzaa, there are, there, there are elitist people who would say, um, you know, uh, this is below us. Mm. What is all this? It's below us. Christmas is there and so on. That's why when I get into a house and little kids come and say, Merry Christmas, mm. Merry, I don't relate to that. During our time, we didn't say Merry Christmas. We said happy. It was the day of happy. So so today some youngsters come say, Merry Christmas, I almost put them off by saying, happy, they yeah. don't know what that is. But that's about me. Mm. When we're giving cakes and ginger beer and all that, it was a day of happy, which means even the Christmas has struggled to get into our spirit. Mm. For us, it is happy. Mm -hmm. The day we are happy. Mm -hmm. So Kwanzaa is more than happy. Okay. It's about doing it, responsibility, sure, sure, sure. working together. Sure. Let's say, Ima, Uli Ima bringing people into the principles of themselves. Because Africans have, have been taught that the only thing that can make you a true being is religion. Mm. I don't care which, which religion comes from, whichever corner. We need to work hard as Africans to build the inner walls. Mm. And uh, I, I'm not saying I'm an expert, I can, uh, you know, uh, to, to start showing mm -hmm. people how to, but they can, I know they can. They have the capacity to build the inner walls mm. of this wall that we need to build around the world. You understand? True, true, true. So uh, uh, Kwanzaa is one of those inner walls, if not a major wall. I've, 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 I've honestly learned uh, so much from you. Uh, thank you very much for always sharing this uh, information. So if maybe you have questions, um do direct them on uh, the comment sections we'll uh, get back to you as soon as we can thank you very much Babu Paul Njabulo Vilagazi for sharing and remember uh, Babu Paul Njabulo Vilagazi has a book that is out now that is called Power in a Slave's Mind so you should really get your hands in uh, um, you should really get your hands on that but it's an ebook <laughs> so I don't know how you'll get your hands there but we'll share the details on the video thank you very much it is what it is what it ends do not apply we out <laughs>